Howdy ho, guys and gals. The news is true. SK is back. If you don't know who SK is, they're one of the legacy, let's call them legacy tool manufacturers. They're uh, one of the original tool truck companies. They've been around for 100, almost 100 years. Uh, it was like 99 last time I checked, but I don't remember if it was last year or this year. Oh my gosh, time just flies. Anyway, that said, uh, you know, they were there with, with Snap-on, with Mac and Matco and Cornwell. Uh, and then uh, they they've stumbled and they've had trouble trying to maintain, you know, their place in the stars, as it were. And uh, they have, uh, they got sold to Ideal and Ideal, we thought Ideal was going to make things happen and they kind of dropped the ball and they ended up selling them to Great Star. Now, Great Star is a Chinese based company that owns a lot of brands, brands you may know, Aero, SK, ShopVac, Lista, Duratech, WorkPro, Pony, uh, Everbright, uh, Swiss Tech, Sheffield, a lot of, a lot of fairly famous brands out there. Now, uh, we we're worried that immediately they're going to just take everything and take it to China and start shipping it out of China. And uh, they, the CEO said, hey, look, I believe in manufacturing tools in the country where they're going to be sold when possible. And that was a big thing. Now, they bought ShopVac, I think, almost the same year, the year before. And ShopVac, uh, they'd already been doing manufacturing outside the United States. They had it in the U.S., but also outside uh, and uh, they shut down. They went out of business. They ran them, their company into a wall, went out of business, laid everybody off. Uh, Gold Star come in and buys them, starts the factory back up, but only hires back about half the staff, leaves, leaves the factory half empty. Then turns around and buys, uh, buys SK, shuts down all the factory and stuff in the Midwest and moves them all to the shop vac factory. And they, they're, they're now, you know, uh, roomies as it were. But apparently the working with ShopVac did not work out and ShopVac moved out. We thought at least the SK guys are like, hey, maybe that means that, you know, SK is going to stay here. Yeah, not really. And, and I don't think, honestly, let's wait to the end. How about that? Let's put it that way. Now, if you go to the SK's website, you can buy stuff on SK. You can shop. Uh, you can, uh, there's warranty stuff. They even have the steals and deals pages back. There's nothing on it but it it's there at least i mean that means that there's a concept that it could be coming back steals and deals used to be a big part of this channel we'd always try to cover them about once a month when they came out with new deals and such but uh where they really showed up is they're over on amazon this is amazon's website this is their sk shop on amazon and uh let's see some of the stuff they've got let's jump through it here look at this we got uh adjustable wrenches we got sockets we got sets we got screwdrivers uh, they, this is the newer, softer kind of plastic, uh, plasticky handle. They still have the old school hard plastic handle screwdrivers around. We got some wrenches and stuff. We got pliers. Uh, I mean, SK's, I've been a, a huge, I'm an admitted fanboy of SK. All right. I, when I growing up, it was like Craftsman was like the gold standard. And then up above that, if you had the money was SK. Okay. Nobody in my area actually used snap on tools. It was weird. Maybe it was an Iowa thing back in the day. I don't know. I'm 54. Who knows? The times change. Anyway, the point is that uh, SK, they, they've been great tools. I have I still have several vintage SK tools are around the shop, mostly ratchets and stuff like that. But they did have their issues. And, and uh, like the wrenches felt really small. You know, I got big hands. and They felt really, really small to me. Even where they fit on the, the socket uh, or on the bolt or whatever. Uh, I'm talking about the open-end wrenches. The, the, the mouth of them just seemed really tiny. Um, but the they had issues with chrome also. And the chrome had a real tendency to chip. And they knew this. Everyone knew as we talked about it. It wasn't like everybody was trying to hide it. Uh, and they kept saying, we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. And that never really happened. Well, let's see where that leaves the status of these tools today. Here's a set of those wrenches there. Uh, $221.55. Definitely priced at that professional level. Uh, and that's allegedly on sale $38 off or 38% off. Uh, let's see what they say in, in the reviews, though, on these. Let's come down here. We'll find the reviews. Uh, there's top reviews from the United States. Uh, let's sort this as by top. Let's sort it by most recent. Probably has something recent. The, these wrenches have held up for six years now. That's nice to know. Except that was in November of last year. 
So it's been a while since some of these items have been on the site and been able to be purchased. I mean, there's no way you go almost a full year there, I guess three quarters of a year without getting a review. I mean, even at that price, I get it. Let's talk about the ratchets. The ratchets are, are you know, they were famed for, I think, founding, developing this style, the round-headed ratchet. Uh, I used to love it. It used to be my favorite. Honestly, I've gone more towards the teardrop these days. Uh, I like to be able to switch directions with one hand, not having to get the second hand in there involved in in the mayhem, as it were. Uh, 38.58 for a quarter inch drive ratchet, but it says it's right there. It says USA, and we come down here and let's check country of origin. It says it right there, USA, and we come down here and uh, most recent we had August 2nd. Says these are great. August 31st says he got a ratchet that does not say USA on it. Nowhere on it. You can take a look at it. it does not, this one says USA. This one does not. Um, and it's, it, it's disturbing. I went on SK's website, found the same ratchet. It did not say country of origin. It didn't say anything about it. So that's going to be kind of one of the things we got to figure out what's going on. And we may have an idea. Stay tuned to the end of the video. One thing that they're really pushing is these sets, which is kind of, that that's kind of in SK's bailiwick. That is a, a thing that they're known for. Now, granted, back in the day, those sets came in great little green tins. But here you got green little EVA foam, nice little sets. We got three eighths, we got quarter inch, we got, uh, there's even a, a, some half inch stuff in here. The prices don't seem to be terrible. I mean, 100 bucks for a professional grade EVA foam set, 3 8 with a 160p ratchet, 30 piece SAE premium. Uh, that that seems like it's pretty cool. But let's take a look. Let's look at let's look at the big boy here. This is their uh, we've got half inch drive with the 160p ratchet, 52 pieces SAE and metric premium CRV construction with EVA foam tool organizer. Seems like a nice tidy little set. I like the look of that ratchet, the green highlights in there. Sadly missing my favorite, the SK, that I liked SK for, which was the knurling. I know nobody does knurling the same way these days. I, I liked it. Uh, but it does seem to be a great set, uh, great no skip kind of set. Uh, deep sockets are 10 to 19 millimeters. Shallows are 10 to 24. Wow, 19, 20, 20, no, no skip on those. Seems like a solid set. You got the ratchet with the on-off switch, half-inch drive, 160 positions. I think it's because it has multiple poles all the way around it. They probably just offset each one a little bit. Um, I don't think it's 160 tooth. That's why they use the P. It's 160 position uh, ratchet on that. Uh, 2.25 arc swing. That's pretty good. We got a couple extensions, a universal joint. Fits right nicely into your box. If you haven't seen the box, Go check out my National Hardware Show video from February, is it this year? It might be this year or last year. Sorry, I don't remember. Just search National Hardware Show on the channel. You know, that's that's where SK gave me this hat. Uh, I'm not sponsored by any way by SK. Uh, I don't make anything from them. Uh, the, uh, the, but, you know, you're like, okay, well, what's the country of origin on this one? And let's come down here. Country of origin Country, there it is right there, China. Now, I don't, now a lot of you are like, well, you talk about Harbor Freight all the time. You talk about a lot of stuff that's made in China, and I do. But I'm talking about value-priced tools that were never originally made in the U.S. that doesn't see USA manufacturing go away. Uh, and that's the part that I worry about. Uh, you know, the stuff we try to hold on to what we can you know, if it's at a reasonable rate. And I like to see diversity in the marketplace, people besides Snap-on making professional, you know, made in the USA tools. Proto does, Wright does. Wright is a great company. That's another company that I'm a big fan of. Uh, batteries required is no. Well, thank goodness for that. Uh, but let's take a look at here. If we go back to SK's, this is their store on Amazon. We're talking about home. And then right there, it says made in the USA. So these are made in the USA items, and we've got sockets, screwdrivers, the half inch reversible, the three eighths drive long extension, the SK frame wrenches. Now I know some people who love those. I'm not a fan of them, honestly. I thought they were big and clunky for a ratcheting wrench, but I know a lot of people really like them. I guess it's kind of a, you know, what's, what's your feeling on those kind of things. 
So there are things that are made in the US. We got Super Chrome, SK's high polish finish. Maybe they fixed the chrome problem. That would be great. Maybe that was something that Great Star brought to the table. Was we okay, we know how to do chrome. We don't have a problem with chrome. We can fix that for you. Uh, so maybe they did that. I mean, we look, it's, I mean, you can look at these pictures. It's hard to tell, you know, this could, they could be older pictures. They could be newer pictures. You don't really know what you're looking at until you get it in your hands. Honestly, my, my take on this is that I'm going back to what I've, I've said about SK for some time, which is I'm, you know, even as a fanboy, I'm still in that wait and see kind of situation. I was really kind of excited about seeing, all the different sets that looked cool to me i'm a big fan i love having stuff nice and tidy and just well, i can just slide it right into my drawer and it's already all set and organized and ready to go and there's not a lot of wasted space and clearly in this there i mean look at this they've got some really really good space i've seen a lot of foam setups where they just basically like there's like 20 feet between each piece in the foam and it's just absolutely ridiculous cobalt is guilty of that if you know what i'm talking about uh, but this one, look at, they got the shallows standing upright. They got the, the talls laying down. So you can put this in a slimmer drawer. You don't have to dedicate a top, you know, deep drawer to this kind of thing. It's a nice set. I like the set. $200 for a professional grade set does not, does not hurt my feelings. Really would have preferred to see this in Taiwan. Made in Taiwan. Made in the USA would have been so much better. Made in China for a $200 one. That's a harder, that's a harder pill for me to swallow. SK fanboys, let me know down below how you feel about this. Is this going to, are you going to change your mind? I mean, if they fix the Chrome, the tools are better. Cause I'll be honest, I bought the last set of ratchets from SK and uh, they're not the most petite girls uh, at the ball. If you know what I mean, they are chunky. I was really surprised uh, at uh, the, how big, heavy and coarse the teeth and everything were on these. I was, I was like, this doesn't feel like SK quality to me. It feels solid. It feels like I'd use it for self-defense, <laughs> but like uh, a super high tooth, fine grade, you know, SK ratchet, it did not feel like to me. Uh, anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Again, uh, put it down in the comments. Anyway, that's all we got about SK. If there's any other brands you want me to check in, see if they're still on life support or what, let me know down there. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.